Hi everyone, it's Christina from Christina's Art Corner. How are you all doing? It's the day after Thanksgiving here in the US and I planned on doing a video of some winter and Christmas themed books and pages that I've picked out that I'd like to do between now and probably February. February will be February. <laughs> it's hard to say. Um, but maybe through January at least. So let's go ahead and get started. This 50 festive themed miniatures by Camellia Angel Cova. I decided, uh, I got so many requests to do buddy colors in here and I thought, why don't we make it a community uh, tag? So I went ahead and created a tag on Instagram and it's hashtag festive minis. So color any page in the book and tag me. And I thought that would be fun because this is a super cute book. There's lots of fun illustrations in here. Could use some alcohol markers and have a bit of an easy color if you want. Here's one that I picked out that I really wanted to do first, I think. So yeah, this is the 50 festive themed miniatures by Camellia Angel Cova. So if you want to participate in that, be sure to do so and tag me. And again, it's hashtag 50 festive minis. And I see some have already gone ahead and done some. So that's cool. I was going to haul this book, but I'm just going to go ahead and include it in this. I planned on doing a 24 days to Christmas, an uh, advent calendar. And this is by Coco Wayo. So we're gonna go through this book quickly together. But I thought, if I can do it, <laughs> I would do either maybe a weekly video with uh, like seven of them done, or if I could manage to do one every day, I would. So if that sounds like something you might wanna participate in, that's what I plan to do. So we have this countdown calendar and uh, let's see, is that saying one? I know there's pages in between that don't have numbers, yeah. So that's a one. And here's two. And I'll probably do alcohol markers in here. Number three. This must be four, is this the four? <laughs> Five, yeah, six is in the wreath. It's kind of fun, isn't it? Seven with the straw. So yeah, there's some really, really cute images in here. Is number 10. So I thought this would be fun to do. You let me know if you'd like for me to create a hashtag where we could all do it together if you have this book or for, if you're interested in getting it. Again, it's the 24 Days to Christmas by Coco Wayo. So yeah, let me know in the comments if that's something that you'd like to participate in. And then I got the Hannah Lynn Whimsy Girls Christmas. Can't go wrong with Hannah Lynn. trying to see if they were two identical pages in this one or if they were different yeah so you've got two of each image I love this one. Oh, I love the skating one too I used to love skating haven't done it in forever so yeah I think I'll pick a few pages in here to be able to do plenty to choose from Joy to the world. And there's that one there. So yeah, that's Whimsy Girls Christmas by Hannah Lynn. Here it says 30 times two fun pages for all ages. Bonus two of each page. Next one is Country Christmas. I went ahead and got this one by Teresa Goodridge. It's hard to go wrong with a Teresa Goodridge page. This was copyrighted in 2019, so I'm late to the game. 
Better late than never. <laughs> oh, lots of really cool images. Oh, I love the toy shop. And a snowman. We're supposed to get some snow here in Pennsylvania on Monday. At least flurries. That's a cozy scene. Look how cute. Taking their Christmas tree home with the little dog. Love it. Well, I love this deer page with the snowman. Another skating page. Oh, look how sweet. That's so cute. So yeah, Creative Haven, Teresa Goodridge. This is Country Christmas. <clears throat> Excuse my voice. And then Enchanted Christmas. This is one I had already hauled. Let's see here. I think, yeah, last year I did this page. Got lots of little glitter on there. Some alcohol marker and some Spectrum Noir glitter over here. Bunch of that here, some stickles. That one was cute. Kind of tore out on its own. <laughs> And this is a 2021 book. So sweet. <laughs> Look at this one with Santa and the reindeer. Lots to choose from in here. Some of the books I've already ch chosen some pages and some I'll just have to see what I'm in the mood for in the moment. Here's a beach Christmas. Spent a lot of those in Florida. It always seemed weird not to have snow on the ground for Christmas. I grew up in the Chicago area, so we were used to big snows for Christmas. I love how that one's colored. So yeah, that's Enchanted Christmas, Teresa Good Goodridge, a Creative Haven book. And then I had gotten this Winter Wonderland to color by Flora Waycott on eBay. Remember, that's the book I repaired. <laughs> and so there's a lot of winter scenes in this book. Burr. <laughs> this is cute with stockings. Oh, look how sweet this is. The horse knows the way to carry the sleigh through the white and drifted snow. So lots of things to choose from in this book too. Oh, I love the skates. Winter. Oh, that one looks fun. Sledding. It's a cute little snuggling. So yeah, there's plenty to choose from in here. So I'll see what strikes me in the moment. Lots of fun. So yeah, that is Winter Wonderland to Color by Flora Waycott. And then another Camellia Angel Kova book. We have 50 snowflakes to color. And as you, I think I picked this one out to do. Of course, they all look very similar because they're snowflakes. <laughs> but each a little different at the same time. So I figured that would be fun with some like blues, purples, and pinks. Or Christmas colors, either one. So that's 50 Snowflakes to Color by uh, Camellia Angelkova. And then there's this book, Home for the Holidays by Galadriel Thompson. I had gotten this from eBay with the hopes to color it here for this season. I love this ornament. That's really neat too. Got some scarves. That's cute. Oh, that one's sweet. I love that one. That's 
some more ornaments and wreaths, some trees. This one's cool too. Look at the little bear. So yeah, there's plenty to choose from from this book, Home for the Holidays. Next one is The Holly and the Ivy. And this is by Ink and Willow. I had hauled this, uh, also got this from eBay, pretty sure. There's lots of, these have perforated edges. So there's plenty to color in in here too. I like that one a lot. That's a really cute snowman. There's a certain magic that comes with the very first snow. Maybe I'll be feeling that on Monday. <laughs> There's a snow globe. So yeah, lots to choose from on this one too. The holly and the ivy. And then this is my Mario Labu deck. Cute friends. This is from 2021. And there's lots of, so let me try to tilt it so the shine doesn't bother you. There are many really cute ones to choose from here. Look how adorable these are. Too cute. Oops. There was a couple Halloween ones I missed. <laughs> There's another Christmas one, or winter. So yeah, this one's cute, friend. So I'm gonna find a couple to do in here. And then 50 Winter and Christmas Fairy Hot Houses, Ha Ha Houses by Camellia Angelkova. I love the little borders in this book. Lots of snowy images. Little elf. So I'll definitely pick one out of here. This is one I did last year. Cute little penguins. This was a, I remember having a lot of fun coloring this page and it's got some Mod Podge glitter on it. So yeah, I definitely want to do some in here. Oh, that's cute, an ornament house. I'll be working out of this book for sure. Now I won't be able to get to every single book that I'm showing you, but I thought it might be helpful also to some of you if maybe you're looking for in your stash of books what there might be that's wintry or Christmas related. I saw this one, The Whispered Word Lenore, and it's from Edgar Allan Poe's poem The Raven. I was just thinking that I could make this a wintry page. It's not necessarily dedicated to winter, but I thought that I could make that a wintry page. In the Jasmine Beckett Griffith book, A Fantasy Art Adventure. And then the Kawaii Tarot Coloring Book by Lulu Mayo. And I thought the Hermit would be cute to do. Hang back, there is no need to be everywhere at once. In withdrawal and solitude comes wisdom. Or something like it, you have a light. Use it to help yourself or possibly others. What do you see? I see some mountains, I see some snow. I see this cute, is it a, uh, supposed to be like a leopard? Anyway, it's super cute and look, this cloud has eyes. So I thought that would be a fun one to do during this winter season. And then in Steve McDonald's Fantastic Cities. I really want to do this one in wintry colors, some cool colors. Like to do like a nice wintry sky and maybe even put snow on some of these trees. So yeah, I have some ideas for that and I thought that would be fun and have the glass be blued out. Yeah, I think it would be fun. I might even do like some glossy accents on the windows. So yeah, so I have some ideas on that. 
Fantastic Cities by Steve McDonald. And then In Fragile World by Kirby Rosanis. I haven't worked in a Kirby book for a bit. There's this page, the Polar Bear page, with the Northern Lights. So I thought that would be a nice one to do. Or... to do this panda or this leopard here either one is it a double page spread or is it singular kind of looks like it could be now they're separate but yeah either one of those would be good so I'll give myself a choice probably do one of the three if I'm realistic in fragile world and then in Dramenvanger by Tomislav Tomic There's this page here, and I thought that would be really cool. There's snowflakes, there's an owl, she's um, walking next to the bear, so I thought this would be really cute to color. And then this Zen Doodle coloring book, Baby Animal Winter Carnival by Jeanette Wommel. There's lots of cute images in here to do, so many to choose from. I look how cute every single page is. <laughs> That's so cute. Look at this. Snowboarding. It's so much fun. Every single one of these pages, honestly, I want to color. I just wish there were more hours in the day, more days in the week. Look at these cute little penguins. Makes me think of Disney Meg. I know she likes penguins. Look at these owls. <laughs> Yeah, I think this is a fantastic book. It has pretty decent paper. It's not doesn't feel as thin as Amazon. And they're perforated, of course. I thought you could do a lot of alcohol marker and pencil overlay if you wanted, or pen pastels. They're just all so cute. And that's the Zen Doodle Coloring Baby Animal Winter Carnival by Jeanette Wommel. And then we have Rita Berman. Let's see, I've done this page last year, the skating page, got some sparkle and shine on there. So the whole book would qualify for winter or Christmas. I love this one. More Northern Lights. I really want to see the Northern Lights up close someday. So yeah, there's plenty to choose out of here. I couldn't pick one at the time I was thinking about doing this video. I do like this one. I like them all. Yeah, they're all so cute. So that is the Winter book by Rita Berman. And then Fairy Touch of Magic by Clara Markova. There's this really sweet Christmas house page. I thought that would be really fun to do. And these two images over here as well. And there are some others that are cute too. But I landed on this one. I hope to get this one done. Very Touch of Magic by Clara Markova. And then Hannah Carlson Seasons. I picked out this double page spread. Have some candy canes here and some ornaments and some cute little mice. So I thought that would be a fun page to do. Nice background. Could do some fun background in there. So that's Seasons by Hannah Carlson. And then we have Fall and Christmas Coloring Book Magical Season by Lenka Filanenko. And it's the semi grayscale. And let's see, I think last year I did this one. This was a fun page, it's super glittery. <laughs> Good, all that. So, yeah, there are plenty of Christmas themed pages. That one's really cute. And those are cute. Oh, sweet. Hey, bless. <laughs> cats being cats. 
But yeah, there's plenty to choose from out of this magical season. And then Symphony of Cute Animals by Kanoko Igusa. There's the two, these two pages here. You've got the ornaments and then this one with the presents and this cute little frog and rabbit. And then the next page is this double page spread and I thought this was super cute with the bears and the gingerbready house. There's some penguins in here. Super cute. And also this page. So I'll choose from some of those to get done in the winter season. And then in Wildflower Folk by Christine Karen, I thought the first snow page was beautiful. This looks like a lot of fun to do. Beautiful. So I picked out that one. And then in Whimsy Girls Around the World, the Hannah Lynn Artist Edition book. I haven't colored in this one for a while. This is one that I did quite a while ago. And I'll have to lift it because it's so shiny. But I used washi tape for her entire veil area. Which was the first time I ever did that. So it was lots of fun to do. So the one that I picked out was this one. Here, I thought that would be fun. And I could either do this one or the one just below it has less detail. So that one or this one. I'll probably go with the one with detail. So yeah, Hannah Lynn, Whimsy Girls Around the World. And then in this eerie book, the fairy tale one, Beyond World Fairy Tales Beyond the Story. I thought this gingerbread house was really cute to do. I don't know if there are, there's probably others that I might have missed that are in here, but that's the one. This one is wintry too. That's a double page spread there. But I thought, yeah, that would be a nice one to do. So I picked that one out of this eerie book. And then in this book here, which I was trying to put all my translations on here, and this is one I haven't done. But this is Momo Girl from 2019. And I'll show you what I've done in here so far. I did a watercolor page for this. And I picked out this page. Thought this would be a really nice one to do. Yeah. Beautiful images in here. And it did take the watercolor okay. It did crinkle the page, of course. But they tend to do that. I, I know I put a lot of water on this thing. <laughs> so I want to get in that book again. So in this book here... It's Four Seasons Coloring Book, Beautiful Days of Green Ivy by Yoon Young Lee. And I would like to do this page here. I'll bring it up because it's hard to see. But yeah, I thought that was really cute. And here's the image to color. Super sweet. I like the muted palette. So that will be... Uh, a challenge for me because you all know I like bright colors <laughs> and then colors make you happy by Miki Taiki or Taki and here is another two pages but I, I don't think I'm gonna do too many gingerbread houses I think I'll pick my favorite out of the ones that I've shown you and I might do this page the presents so yeah We'll have to see which ones I wind up picking. <laughs> All right, in this book here, which is Four Seasons Gallery by Nyang Songi, Six Cats Area Good Day was the translation. And there's this, these two pages, which I believe it's a double page spread, but you could probably split them up if you wanted to. But that's definitely a cute set of pages to do. 
and I haven't colored in this book yet, so I want to. A lot of these, I want to get something colored in them. The sticker means that I haven't colored in it yet. Okay, and then here in our sketchbook mouse book, I chose this double page spread. I thought this would be super cute to do. Look at <laughs> their facial expressions are just so adorable. Look at this. <laughs> oh, cute. They're so sweet, aren't they? These images. So that's one to do. And in this Mona page, the squirrel book, it's Residence in Antique Towns by Yoshiki, Yoshiko Nakeiko. And here's another double page spread. And I really do love this one. Look at everything that's going on in here. Look at the stores, all the decorations, Christmas trees. Look, <laughs> look at the piggies, how, how happy they are. It's so cute. So yeah, I wanna get that, that one done in this book. And then in this book here, the Travel Around Fairy Tale with Small Friends in the Forest by Sir Yuri Kobayashi. And we have two pages here to choose from. Either one. Oh, is, is it a double page spread? Yeah, it is. So, but I think you could do one or the other. Don't necessarily have to make it a double page spread, especially since this tree doesn't go into this area here. And this globe is really cute, but this is adorable. Love it. And then in Romantic Country, The Second Tale by Erie, there's this double page spread that I wanna do. Yeah, I think this would be a lovely one to color. So that's the second tale in the Eerie book. And then I have Crystal Vogel's new book. And I have not chosen a page out of here yet. But look how cute the snowman with fairy wings. It is quite a detailed book. But beautiful, beautiful pages. Look. Okay. This was cute too. This is just so much fun. Oh, well, that's a lot of detail. Look at this one, how cute. They're up on the Christmas tree decorating it. Lots of cute ones to color in here, that's for sure. And I love these little side images too. <laughs> Look how adorable. Oh gosh. So yeah, that's Crystal Vogel's new book. Want to get one started in there. And then I have Wild Winter, Mythographic by Joseph Kattenbang. And I really liked these pandas. I thought that would be super cute to do. It's a really pretty book. This one's also very cute the ornaments it's a really cute deer page looking at its image but yeah I think I want to do the pandas and that's in wild winter let's see have I done anything in here yet no oh, must not have thought I did so that will be a first time book and then in this one here It's, this is, uh, yeah, I did translate it. The Day You Come, My Lost Precious Baby Animal Coloring Book by Eugene Kim. And I thought this would be a fun page. Look how cute they are, decorating the tree. Got a nice little fireplace here. Looks like they're cooking something there. Yeah. So that is from this book here. And then I think in Menagerie, 
it's also, uh, it's Fabiano Atanasio Mythographic. I want to say that I had, yes, here's this cute bear page with snowflakes. I thought that would be a fun one to do. I probably won't do both mythographics, but one or the other. And in Fairy Tales, coloring book by Emily Lida Hall Oberg. There's quite a few in here. This was another gingerbread. So if I don't want to do the gingerbread, let's see here. The other one I was thinking, I was thinking of this deer. This one's cute too. This is a nice page also. Let's see. Let me just do a quick flip here. This could be a wintry page. That might be fun to do with the crystals. That one could be cute as well. Had this one earmarked to do also. I might keep this one instead of the gingerbread since, because when I was flipping through the books over different days, I didn't realize how many gingerbreads houses <laughs> I had chosen. I might keep this one for the fairy tale book. And then Lacey Sunshine's Christmas with the Sunshine Tots. I have not colored in this one yet, but there's lots of, look at this cute one with the candy cane. <laughs> oh, look at this, so cute. Now there's plenty in here to choose from. Look how adorable. I really like that one. I think I'll put a marker in there. And that one's cute with the candy cane as well. Let's see here. Let me tear off a sheet. So yeah, Lacey Sunshine's Christmas with the Sunshine Tots. Adorable. And then I know if you saw my least favorites video, you saw that Joanna Bassford was on the list. But for Christmas, okay, let me show you the page that I've done. I did this one last year and have lots of metallic watercolors on there. Had lots of fun. There's glossy accents I thought would make it look like wet snow. I don't know if it shows up. But yeah, so I do like her Christmas book. There's lots of things in here that pique my interest to do. This one's kind of cool. Of our soldier men. There's more gingerbread. <laughs> We've got the snow globe. The clock. Yeah, I think there's plenty in here I can choose from. The sled with the presents. So I'll definitely choose one out of here. Um, Debbie McComer's Holly Jolly Christmas Coloring Book. So there's so many gorgeous pages in here and the paper is amazing. That's fun. The bookshop. The stockings. <laughs> Look at this dog. Bless. Oh, I love these with the little snow peoples. Got some men in here, that's good. Oh, wrapping. This one's fun. Another gingerbread. Oh, look at this cat, it's cute. Hot cocoa. That's a really pretty scene. So is that one. So yeah, there's plenty to choose from in here. This one's relatable. The cat's messing with the ornaments. <laughs> so I'll choose one out of here. And then we have Creative Haven Entangled Christmas Coloring Book by Angela Porter. And there's a ton in here to choose from. You have perforated edges. 
I love her style. Now that one's a lot of little details. <laughs> Lots of little ones. This one's cute. I like that one. More ornaments. I do like the color ornaments. So y'all choose one out of here, the Entangled Christmas. And then we have Christmas Matchstick Mouse. I just purchased this, so I haven't colored in it yet. So I'll just choose one from here. <laughs> That's cute, throwing snowballs. <laughs> Wilbur's happy that that's going in the other direction. <laughs> oh, sweet. Oh, that's cute. So yeah, I'll probably do a couple out of here for sure. <laughs> it's so cute. Oh, she's so funny, her faces. So yeah, I'll definitely do a few from Matchstick Mouth. And then Christmas Gnomes by Teresa Goodridge, a Creative Haven book. And all of these are going to be super fun. Look at this, the big candy cane. <laughs> super adorable. <laughs> How fun. Just love these pages. Oh, Christmas sweet treats. So definitely be coloring in that one. And then I have a couple of circleism color by numbers. This is the Christmas owls. I think I did one of these. Actually, I did that mid year, I think. Is that the only one I've colored in there so far? I think so. But they turned out really cool. I want to say, did I use alcohol marker for that? Yeah, it seems to be. Um, oh, look how cute. <laughs> like this one, too. So, yeah, I'll include a couple of color by number ones. The other one is the Yuletide. And I've done one of these. So, there's plenty to do in here. I love this wreath. Yeah, color by numbers. And then I have not colored in my coloring heaven. I thought for sure that I would be coloring these when I had started getting them and I just didn't wind up turning to them. In fact, this got messy. Um, so this is the Christmas compendium. I really wanna do one, I see I started, but so I could either finish her or do another one. Look how cute these are. Love that stocking. These are Molly Harrison. Tatiana Bogima. I think it's because the paper is so thin is one of the reasons, although it doesn't deter me from regular Amazon books, but um, Elle's behaving badly. <laughs> Fabiano Atanasio. This does have some good illustrators in here. I love that one. Yeah, super cute images in here. And then Mary Tanana. Tanana. Got Hannah Lynn in here. Mario Labude. More Hannah Lynn. So yeah, there's plenty, plenty to color in here, and I definitely want to have one colored in that book. So I think that's it, besides some other regular books that I'm gonna want to color in. This uh, Diane DeFore book, The Bears. I definitely want to do some in here. Look at this cute page. <laughs> Super adorable. So yeah, I want to do some of these too. Oh, look how sweet. <laughs> oh, I love these books. So yeah, want to work in that one too. And then I know that there's a couple of others that are not Christmas related. I wanted to work in this book here. Row on. 
let's see here. Um, yeah, I want to try my hand at one of these. So I'll pick one of these pages to do. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> oh gosh. There's some wintry clothing page. That would be a lot of fun to do. So yeah, I definitely want to pick one out of here and do it. And I might do a color along for this if you're interested. So I think that would be fun. And then this Enchanted Fairies coloring book. I um by Margaret Tarrant. I wanted to pick one out of here to do too. I know I had mentioned that I wanted to do that when I hauled the book, so maybe I can pick one that looks close to wintry. It doesn't have to be really, does it? So yeah, these are two books also that I really want to work in between now and February. I mean, the fairies could go into February. So I think that's it. I hope that gave you some ideas for winter and Christmas books. I will be doing this Advent uh, coloring book. And don't forget, there's this hashtag 50 festive minis to do. Just tag me in that. And if you wanted me to create a tag for this book that we could have a community color in, uh, let me know. Uh, and that really goes for any of the books. I'm happy to host those. So yeah, you all have a wonderful rest of your weekend. I'll see you guys in the next one. Happy coloring. Take care. Bye-bye.